I have never eaten alone in the park before. automatically as the fan go, so I have to turn that off. But happy Vlogtober day four, happy October 4th. It is Tuesday and I'm getting ready for the day. I'm kind of excited for this outfit. I've never worn it like this before. The chokehold that these little like tunic jumpers have on me is absolutely ridiculous. Like I would wear them every single day if I could. So today we're going with the tan one black shirt and then I got you can't see them, but my black Converse on with it. And I feel like it's gonna look so cute. What are you gonna get all dressed up for today, Marissa? Literally nothing. I kinda wanna go work in a coffee shop today because I'm tired of sitting in my office and like just being here. So I thought I would go to Starbucks today and work from there. So you know, gotta look cute. Impromptu get ready with me. This is like my favorite moisturizer. This is the moisturizer if you've been watching my vlogs that like it's hard for me to find nowadays, but it's the Garnier Skin Active Moisturizer. It's so jelly and like, oh, I love it. Oh, here it is in the box because I have a backup. Anytime I see it I buy like six of them because I can't find these things anywhere anymore but this is like my favorite moisturizer I still have like 72 bottles of my dossier like perfume because I did a brand deal with them like last year if you guys remember and so right now I'm using fruity magnolia oh actually I have three bottles left I've been working my way through those and honestly like they smell really good I don't know if my code still works but I will link it down below if it does because I honestly like it we're going with my M little necklace today Perfect. I really need to like pluck my eyebrows. Just girly things, you know? One thing that I was thinking that might go good with this outfit, I don't know, is this little bandana. Cause I haven't done my hair yet. This is just from my shower. It's a vibe, right? But like, is this the vibe, you know? But is that, I'm thinking it might be like too much. That's so cute. Is it like too much black and like tan? Am I like too monochromatic right now? Or is it cute? I wish y'all could like answer me right now. Cause I kind of want to wear it. I'm going for it. I've been like way more into accessories lately, especially way more than I ever have been before. Like necklaces and rings, oh my gosh. See, does that look, I think it looks weird now. But then my ears stick out like an elf. And I don't like that. No bandana, changed my mind. Lately, I've been doing, because I got my bangs done. I haven't really been styling them. They've just kind of been laying kind of good naturally, but I've been using my Dove little dry shampoo as kind of like a texturizing spray, mainly because I just need to get some. But if I just spray some, like all in my roots and stuff. I feel like it helps get some like body and stuff, you know? But I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe my hair looks exactly the same, but I feel like it looks different. Also at a farmer's market that I recently went to, sorry, I didn't vlog it. I got more earrings from the little small business called The Cousin Collective. I've been getting all of my like little smiley face earrings from them. So whenever I run into them at farmer's markets, I'm like, what you got this time? And they remembered me this time. And we're like, Marissa, we have new smileys in. So I bought these ones because they're kind of like a little claspy, but they're orange tiny little smileys. I think they're so cute. Alrighty, so fall. I need to pack my bag to go work. I've been hearing my emails go off though and I really don't want to look at this. I need to edit more Vlogtober videos so we're definitely having to bring all of my like vlogging stuff. The real question is which tote do I use? Usually I bring this one because it holds the most stuff. We'll go with this one. I need this. I think it's kind of funny. I always forget something wherever I go. What do I forget? Headphones. Hello, Miss. I'm gonna drop Freya off at daycare. She hasn't been since like last <gasps> Thursday because obviously we spend all the time in the world together. But since I'm gonna go work today, you can play with your friends and have so much fun. I think that's it. I'm gonna bring a cord because I just, I have a feeling that something is gonna be dead and I'm gonna have to charge it. Here's the look for today featuring Freya. Freya's always a part of the look and my air mattress that I still have not put up. I don't know, I'm feeling the fit. I think it looks cute. We'll have to get pictures today.
craving sushi for lunch, so I'm stopping at Kroger because their sushi is actually really bomb. Oh, smoked salmon, this is what I always get. And then I usually get some nigiri. I think I've hit my peak. I don't know what came over me. I was just driving by this little park it has this cute little pond next to it and I thought I would bring my sushi here to eat it. I have never eaten alone in the park before. This is the stuff that I love, that I never really did before, that I always could have and always should have, but I don't know. I just got so like complacent with my last relationship. And in a way, I kind of lost myself, which I feel like, I don't know, people go through. Like I know I'm not the only one. I don't know. This is your sign to go get sushi or your favorite food and go eat alone in the park. This is also your sign to not let a relationship stop you from doing what you want to do and don't lose yourself in your relationship if your partner doesn't like to do the things that you like to do that's okay still do them like i don't i don't know why i never did more times but it is Tuesday and on Tuesdays I have to lead my group rides so I need to get changed to ride my bike and honestly it's like perfect fall weather it feels so good but it is a little chilly so I'm gonna wear my pants and my long sleeve jersey and I hate to take this really cute outfit off but my camera just freaking died I hate to take this really cute outfit off but I am really excited to ride my bike it feels really good outside Allison is once again not coming and I'm very upset about it because she has not been in so many freaking weeks and I fucking miss her. Allison, if you're watching this, I miss you. But this is the cycling outfit for the night because it's a little chilly. It's like 50s. It's honestly great cycling weather. Usually I'll get cold for like the first few miles and then it'll like warm up because obviously I'm like, you know, working my body. Did you have fun with your friend all day today? There's one worker there that's like obsessed with her. He loves her and I love him because he loves her and she hasn't been in a few days like I said and I took her in today. And he was the one that came from the back to come pick her up and he saw her and he was like, <laughs> and then Frey was so excited. I was like, Frey, it's your bestie. So I love having a little daycare that we love. The sun is setting earlier and earlier, and I think we're gonna have to like cancel our ride here soon. Cause it's not that safe to be riding around like sunset and stuff. Mainly cause when you're driving, especially if you're riding your bike on the road, like that's when drivers really can't see people. Like most accidents happen at like sunrise and sunset alone, just with cars, but let alone like bikes and stuff. Like people are not looking out for bikes. We're all set up, ready to go. I just finished the ride and it felt so good. Like the weather is perfect. Literally could not ask for better. Dinner's already halfway being made. I wanted hamburger helper tonight, realized I didn't have milk, so I had to go and get milk. While I was there, I needed some other things as well. I had some boiled eggs today at Starbucks when I was working at the coffee shop, so I got a whole carton of eggs that I just want to like boil so I can have hard boiled eggs. And then I got the normal eggs for breakfast and stuff, so plenty of eggs. I needed more bread for breakfast. I was out of everything. Milk, eggs, bread, coffee pods. I realized the other day when I was washing my hair, like as I was washing my hair that I was out of conditioner. So that was really sad. So I got conditioner and then I got a backup conditioner. And then I also needed more butter. And then two new things that I got today that I really want to try. I'll have to, you know, film a little coffee tasting kind of thing. I got Starbucks cold brew, the vanilla sweet cream kind, because I love the vanilla sweet cream cold brew from Starbucks. But I don't know if this will taste the same. I kind of want to do like a little taste test video. Like I want to get one from work and then come home and try it. Because I don't know if it'll be the same. On the same token, I got the vanilla latte iced espresso from Starbucks. Again, I think that, I don't know if it's going to taste exactly 
the same or it's gonna taste different. I literally have no idea. We will try them. We will see how they taste, see if it's similar to Starbucks or not. I also kind of want to taste, I've never tasted the blonde Nespresso pods in comparison to like the blonde shots from Starbucks. We might have to do like a whole little taste test comparison series of stuff that you can get at the store and how similar it is to the stuff that you can get at Starbucks. I think that'd be fun. Oh my goodness. Sorry for the terrible lighting, but my mom FaceTimed me a little bit ago before I like picked up the vlog again. And she asked what I was making for dinner and I said hamburger helper. And then she laughed at me. And I was like, hamburger helper is fucking delicious. I don't know about y'all. And then she had the nerve to tell me. I was like, what did you have for dinner? She said popcorn. That was it. That was her dinner. And she laughed at me for having an actual meal. The audacity. Little Miss and I are in bed eating hamburger helper and watching Netflix. And that'll be our night. <laughs>